Medford Ford, Main Watertown, Anna County, 1 Mary, 860. First name Lucky, is that correct? Yes, sir. Hey, Lucky. Just go ahead and grab that other stuff for me I asked you to get. Yeah, get your insurance. Yes, sir. Lucky, how much you had to drink tonight? Um, I had a few beers a couple hours ago. A few beers a couple hours ago? Okay, yeah, I can smell an odor of uh, alcohol coming from you. Been out at the bar or a friend's house? Where you been? Uh, I was at a bar. You said you had a few beers? Yeah. You know how many a few is? About uh, like four, five, six? No, like two or three. Three. Two or three? Yeah, okay. I feel okay to drive. Feel okay to drive? Yeah. Didn't see that red light though? No. No? no? Okay. Okay, Lucky, wait right here for me. I'll be right back with you, okay? Yes, sir. All right, just wait here in the vehicle. Yes, sir. Okay, well, what we're going to do is I'm going to ask you to step out of the vehicle. We're going to run you through a series of tests and we're going to uh, see if you're okay to drive. If you're okay to drive, then we're going to get you going on down the road, okay? Okay. How's that sound, Lucky? Sounds fine. Okay, why don't you go ahead and step out for me? Just be careful of traffic. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run you through some standardized field sobriety tests, okay? And what this is going to do is check for the alcohol content in your body. And like I said, if we find out if you pass these tests, you're good to go, then we're going to get you on down the road, okay? Okay. Okay, you're, you're willing to do that? I, yes, sir. Yes. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is ask you just to stand right here and put your feet together, just like mine are right there, and put your hands down at your side for me, okay? you have any medical conditions? Uh, no. Okay, hips are good, knees, feet, those are comfortable shoes, look like you wear those a lot? Yes. Okay, and you're comfortable right now? Cold. Cold, it's a little chilly out, yeah, but uh, you're dressed for the warmth, looks like you've got a couple of layers on like me, so uh, we'll, get through, we'll get through this as quick as we can, okay? Yes, sir. I want you to watch the tip of my pen with your eyes only and don't move your head. Yes, sir. Okay? I'm going to run a series of tests on both eyes, it might take a little while, so just bear with me and have some patience. Remember the instructions, just watch with your eyes only and don't move your head. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Now just don't move your head, Lucky. What we're going to do is we're going to take a test. You ever taken a field sobriety test before? Uh, no. Alright, this one's going to be called a nine-step walk and turn. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to ask you to stand just like I am. I want you to put your, see that line right there? I want you to imagine an imaginary line connecting it to that next yellow line down there. We can agree that's a relatively straight line, right? What you're going to do is you can take nine steps forward. While taking those steps, you're going to strike heel to toe on each step, counting each step out loud while staying on that line. Then you're going to make a pivot turn. I'm going to show you how to do that. Then you're going to take nine steps back, counting each step out loud, and striking heel to toe on each step. Okay, Lucky, go ahead and begin then. Keep your hands at your side for me. Go ahead and begin. Right now? Yep, go ahead. One, seven, eight, nine. Does it matter which way I turn? No, sir. Just play it like, just like I showed you. already that those are comfortable shoes you don't have any problems with your balance or anything like that you're perfectly healthy right yes I'm just cold I'm just cold I understand what I want you to do is go ahead and uh, stand with your feet together just like I am and your hands down at your side in this test I'm going to ask you to stand on one foot and lift one foot off the ground about six inches which foot would you like to stand on it doesn't matter to me um, <clears throat> my left foot you want to stand on your left and raise your right? Yes. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate this test for you doing the same thing then, okay? <clears throat> what you're going to do is stand on your left foot. When I tell you to begin, not until I tell you to begin, you'll raise your right foot about six inches off the ground, just like mine is right there. And I want you to point your toe, okay? If at any time during the test you put your foot down like that, that's okay. Just pick it right back up, all right? So you're going to stand there and you're going to point your toe on your right foot and you're going to count out loud while watching your toe. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, and so on until you get to 30. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010, 1,011. Okay, yeah, you can go ahead and stop. Did I fail the test? How do you think you did? Well, I'm cold, I'm shivering, yeah. so it's hard for me to keep my balance because I'm so cold. Well, you, you put your foot down a couple of times, 
lost your balance uh, on the walk and turn. You missed the other toe. You stepped off the line a few times. Uh, so you did do some things wrong. Uh, you took the wrong number of steps uh, on the way back. You took 10 instead of 9. You didn't make the turn just like I showed you. But what we're going to do is we're going to do one more test, okay? I'm going to ask you to blow into an output sensor. Gonna go to jail? We're going to find, well, we're going to complete this last test first, okay? Okay, Luggy, at this point, I want you to turn around and face away from me. Just go ahead and turn around and face away from me. Put your hands behind your back. Am I going to go to jail? Okay, at this point, you're under arrest for suspicion of driving under the influence. I didn't it. I didn't have that much. I only had a couple beers. It was like a couple hours. Those aren't too tight? No. Alright. Can I just get someone to pick me up? Yeah, hey, Lucky, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you uh, and have you blow on a alcohol sensor. Okay? Get your breath alcohol content. Am I gonna go to jail? And if you blow over, then you're gonna go to jail. Okay? Let's go ahead and head back to the car. Okay, go ahead and have a seat in the car. There's a cutout right there. Just watch your head there. And yeah, there's not a whole lot of room back there. Oh. All right, there's a cutout. If you just let your hand slide right down oh. there, the smaller your back, into those cutouts. Oh. All right, lucky way right there. Okay, Lucky, my name is Officer Real, and what I'm gonna have you do, I'm gonna have you blow into the alpha sensor, and what this is gonna do, it's gonna give me a readout of what your breath alcohol content is, okay? Okay, well, if you didn't have anything to drink, this is gonna show zeros, and you'll be good to go, right? Okay, so do you, you wanna take the breath test? Yeah. All right, what I want you to do is take normal breath, blow into the tube, and I'll tell you when to stop. Go and blow hard for me. Okay, go and stop. Just takes a second or two to get your readout. All right, Lucky, what does that number say? It's a uh, .098. .098, you said legal limit .08, correct? Yeah, that's not that much over the legal limit, though. It's not, though, it, it, it's over the legal limit, right? Yeah, but it's not that much. Okay, well, here's the deal, okay? You're gonna be arrested for driving under the influence of alcohol. Officer Stoy's gonna transport you to the Ada County Jail where you'll be booked in for the misdemeanor, okay?